as we are watching and waiting for that great and glorious day when our Savior will appear in the clouds to snatch the bride from this earth to the place he has prepared. I just want to share with you that uh, Pentecost is, a, according to the Jewish tradition, it's a time they have an emphasis on Ruth. And Ruth was the Gentile bride of the rich Jew, of the Redeemer, Boaz who took Ruth as his bride. And even as there's a focus in the Jewish community on the Gentile bride of Boaz, and Ruth became the great-grandmother of King David, and even as uh, this is, was very important, that Ruth came to Israel around the time of Pentecost, Ruth's story is centered in harvest time, and we know the harvest, the rapture is going to be a great harvest. It's going to be the time when Jesus snatches, harvests the souls of men, those who've trusted in him out of this world to the place he has prepared. It's going to be a great harvest. There's a legend that King David died on Pentecost. The Jews read Ruth every year on, Pente on Shavuot. Every year. And where was Ruth at the threshing floor scene? She was at the feet of Boaz. The threshing floor scene reminding us of the time of tribulation. But Ruth was at the feet of Boaz. I just show you this, Ruth and Shavuot, while we read the book of Ruth on Shavuot, there are many explanations given. This is from myjewishlearning.com. The most quoted reason is that Ruth coming to Israel took place around the time of Pentecost. And I'll show you, I want to show you this uh, song here. This is a Jewish song. Sometimes the journey chooses you and not the other way around. I don't know how, but I just knew that you would lead me to sacred ground. Sacred ground. I was living in a place that it was time for me to leave. I lost all of my faith, but I was ready to believe. they shall say we are the witnesses today to this covenant you make generations pass 
generations come and now our separate histories are Dear friends, even as uh, we see Shavuot by the Jewish uh, counting is May 25th to 27th and uh, Pentecost May 28th, by the way, the uh, Christian calendar is uh, planning it there. And so uh, we, um, which basically is the same, just a different starting point i guess for counting the 50 days but uh the point is here at pentecost the jews are right now in a period of counting down they call counting the omer they're in the period of counting the omer in expectation they say we count the days that pass since the preceding festival that would be passover just as one who expects his most intimate friend on a certain day counts the days and even the hours it's a period of counting. And even as the Jews are right now in this period of counting, there's a strong expectancy. And we are expecting, dear friends, as followers of Jesus Christ, we're expecting on the day that God has appointed that that trumpet's going to blow and Jesus is going to snatch the bride from this earth to the place he has prepared. And even as they are counting down with expectancy for Pentecost to come as the harvest festival, we're expecting, dear friends, a time of harvest to come soon. That our Savior is going to harvest those who have been cleansed by his blood. That our Savior is going to harvest them and take them to the place that he has prepared. Are you ready? Are you excited? Are you counting down the days? Ready for that great wedding, the Gentile bride. We're in the time of the Gentiles right now. We're in the church age. And when the time of the Gentiles is filled, yes, we're in the time of the Gentiles. And we know that uh, the Lord has a purpose and plan for the Jewish people. And he loves them. He made a covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And... He's going to fulfill his promise. But, but part of his plan is that Jesus would save those who would trust in him and take them to the place he has prepared. And so, dear friends, we just want to urge you this day, if you're saved, get excited because Jesus is coming soon. Morning, night, or noon, Jesus said, watch for you know not the day. And I can't say for sure it is today. And you can't say for sure it's not today. It might be today. So that's why we're watching. That's why we're watching with expectancy. And as we come up to this time of Pentecost, when the Jew, there's a Jewish emphasis on Ruth and the Gentile bride, remembering Ruth is a time of harvest time also, as we're coming up to this time, we have an excitement and a sense of expectancy that our Savior is coming for us. He loves you very much, and whether we live and suffer for Him and see Him soon in dying for Him or suffering for Him, praise His holy name. Or if we see Him when the trumpet blows and He snatches us out of this world, we praise His holy name. Live for him today. Set your mind on Christ. Jesus Christ is coming soon. And he loves you. Jesus is coming soon, morning or night or noon. Many will meet their doom, trumpets will sound. All of the dead shall rise, righteous meet in the skies. I'm going where no one dies, heavenward bound. God bless you all.